Good evening. This is the September 18th, 2019 meeting of the Finance Committee. On our agenda tonight, we have, um, we're going to reorganize. We're going to review and vote on transfer requests and vote recommendations on the warrant for the special town meeting that's scheduled for October 15th. And we'll also look at minutes. So, I believe you get to read it first. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to open up nominations for chairman. Do I have any nominations? I make a motion for Ian Kavanaugh. Second. Uh, are there any other nominations? I make a motion we close nominations. Second. Second. Second, Second to close it. Yeah. All those in favor of closing nominations? Aye. Aye. Um, I'm going to take a roll call vote for the nomination. Uh, Mr. Kennedy? In favor. Wait, so Ann, Ann Kavanaugh? Kins? Yep. Ed? Yes. And Ann? Yes. Thank you. We have a chair. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to um, open nominations for vice chairman. I'll make a nomination for Ken. Do I hear a second? Second it. Okay. Are there any other nominations for vice chair? Okay. So, motion, motion, motion to close. Motion, motion to close. To close. Okay, and sec second. Oh. Okay, so let's vote for the candidates for vice chair. Kevin. In favor of Kim Holstrom. Okay, Kim. Okay. Ed. In favor of Kim. And I'm favor. All right. Okay, so, very good. All right. Reorganization done. Okay. Check. So now we're going to look at the transfer requests. There's a large group of um, bylaw employee transfers. Um, and what um, do I hear a motion to take these transfers as a group? So moved. Second. Okay, thank you. So um, the total coming from salary reserve is $34,739.33. So I do need to read these. So the first is um, the manager, town manager salary coming from account 011-291-511-101 for, for um, $3,000. The next is coming from the town manager account to the clerical line 011-291-511102, $908. Next we have the um, Accountants Department salary um, request two thousand six hundred nineteen dollars from account zero one one three five one five one 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 zero one. Also, the count next is the Town Accountant Department from account zero one one three five one five one 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 zero two. Clerical one thousand eight hundred thirty one dollars from the Assessors Department from account uh, salary. Uh, a line 011-411-511-101, um, $724. Uh, assessor department salary uh, going to account 011-411-511-120, $1,000. Then in the assessor's department for clerical line, 011-411-511-102, From the treasurer collector department for the salary line, 011-451-511-101, $1,000. Town Clerk's Department to the Clerical Line 011 -1 $1,824.39. General Services Department to the Clerical Part-Time Line 011 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $1 $
uh, to the line 015-111-511-101, 869 dollars. Um, DDIS Health to the Assistant Health Director line 015-111-511-129-459. The DDIS Health line clerical 015-111-511-215-5. $553. The DDIS Solid Waste and Recycling Coordinator Line, 01433 Um DDIS Building Com uh, Commission Assistant DDIS Director, zero, line 012 -411 -511 -101, DDIS Building Department Clerical Line, 012 -411 -511 -102, $1 $1,174. DDIS Animal Control Animal Inspector, Account 012-921-511-101-516. DPW Engineering Division for the DPW Director and Town Engineer, 014-111-511-101. Amount requested $1,066.59. DPW Engineering Division, Civil Engineer, to account 014 $417.66. $17 DPW's Stormwater Division to the Engineer, line 014 $206.24. To the DPW Stormwater Division for Wages, full time, line 014 -511 1577.11. DPW Highway Division to the Highway Superintendent to account 014 -511 -514, $682.59. DPW Highway Division to the Assistant DPW Director to account 014 -211 -514, Cemetery Department Superintendent Salary that line 014 -911 -511 -101, $53. Uh, Cemetery Department Engineer GIS, line item 014-911-511-138, Cemetery Department Clerical Line, 014-911-511-102, and Cemetery Department Wages, line 014-911-511-103, $3,144. And last, the library to buy back line item 016-101-5140. And reason um, this is to buy back 60 hours of vacation as allowed under the employment contract. Do I hear a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Okay. Um, and a second? Second. All right, questions? Are you hearing no questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, so that's a vote. That's a lot of ones. Okay, and our next transfers here are, um, go in order here, we have the police department has a transfer. Do you wanna come up, anyone wanna come up and tell us about it? Thank you. Hello. Congratulations to the chair and the oh, vice chair. Thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you. Um, what we're doing is requesting money relative to a new s a sergeant promotion. So this is stemming from the pending retirement of 
Sergeant John Kelleher. So Sergeant Kelleher is still on the payroll. This is a provisional appointment. So in order to compensate our new sergeants, uh, Sergeant Stephanie Hayward, uh, we're asking that monies be moved from the patrolman salary account into the sergeant salary account. Um, additionally, we're asking for monies to be moved from the patrolman Quinn account to the sergeant Quinn account to pay for the, her that increase. Um, so what we're looking to do is move $65,901 from patrolman salary to the sergeant salary and from patrolman Quinn, the amount is 15684 again from patrolman Quinn to sergeant Quinn. All right, thank you. So um, the first transfer, as she said, going from the patrolman's account to the sergeant's account, requested amount $65,901, and that's going to um, account 012-111-511-101. Do I hear a motion to approve? Question? Yeah. That's it. Beth, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. I don't want a motion to approve yet. Um, Lieutenant, is this going to short up your patrolman's account? No, um, we're going to have. We are expecting to have a, a reserve in that account just because we have those funded open positions. Um, we're looking at a total of five that we have open now. Uh, Sarge, excuse me, Detective Ben Ross just retired uh, August 16th, so he's no longer on the payroll. That position is now vacant. Um, and then the additional bodies that we received back uh, last fiscal year, those are still open. They're funded but open, and we're hoping, uh, I think there was an academy date in Boylston announced for February. Um, so hopefully we'll get some people off the civil service list and get them enrolled in that academy. But um, we expect to have money available in both the patrolman account and patrolman Quinn. Okay. Thank you. Um, do I hear a motion to approve? So move. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, um, next transfer is from Patrolman Quinn going to the Sergeant Quinn account. Amount requested $15,684. Uh, it's going to account 012-111-519-007. Do I hear a motion to approve? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, so we're all set. The next transfer we have, um, Let's go, let's skip one. Let's go to DPW Sewer Division. And I see a transfer, transfer here um, from the contingency account to the clerical account. Um, amount requested $1,652.81. Requested to account 601-511-102. Union contract increase effective 7119. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Okay, thank you. And the next transfer is DPW Sewer Division also coming from the contingency account going to the phones and alarms account, which is line 6015340. Amount requested seven, uh, excuse me, $2,380 to cover the cost of software updates for alarm system computer. Motion to approve. Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? No, okay. Why don't we just do the Council on Aging transfer then, and then we can go look at the warrant. Council on Aging has two transfers. First one coming from Van Drivers going to Director Salary, which is line 015411 $656. $1 That's a bylaw employee increase resulting from the 1% COLA in fiscal year 2020. Do I hear a motion to approve? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, so the next one is coming also from the van driver account to the assistant director account, 015-411-511-115. Amount um, requested $1,294. Contract, for reason for transfer, contract negotiation increase for fiscal year 2020. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, thank you. All right, so our next part of our agenda is to take a look at the warrant for the um, special town meeting for next month. Um, Article 1, we don't make any recommendation on. Article 2, 
Uh, let me just verify. Do I need to read this, Ed, all this? Um, or I should read just the amounts, maybe? You could either read the summary, or you may want to be specific to Article 2 because it is pretty detailed in summarizing the other ones as it's recapped on this. Okay, do I have to list, do I have to call, do the line items, state the line item? You don't have to state the line items, maybe the description with a All decrease right. or increase. All right, so Madam Chair, before we get into that, uh, yes. the articles, just uh, an administrative note on that last transfer we did. It appears the same account numbers were listed on both the account it was going from and to, just for what finally goes on record. To, I understand. Looks like it's going in from. They're both coming from van drivers. No, the uh, on the van driver's assistant director, it looks like it was going from the van driver's. Oh, uh, to, to the van yeah. drivers. Let me just take a quick yeah. look at that. I see what you mean. Should, the last one should be going to 511102. Okay. Do we need to revote that? I don't think so, do we? No. no. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kevin. So let's look at Article 2. I'm just going to read this, um, the um, items here without the line item numbers. So Article 2, see if town meeting will vote to amend Article 3 of the May 7, 2019 annual town meeting as follows. Increase um, the salary reserve from 270000 to 310000 Increase the legal negotiator from 35000 to 60000 Increase the miscellaneous supplies from $770 to $1,250. Increase certification dues from $370 to $490. Increase precinct officers from 9,000 to 11,500. Increase another supply line from 9,700 to 10,100. Increase line item insurance and bonds from 820,000 to 845,000. Decrease line item for Norfolk assessment from 111,000 to 63,000. Increase line item salt and calcium from 257,000 to 282,000. Increase line item contracted services from 120,000 to 130,000. Decrease line item salary from 32,500 to 18,000. Increase uh, relief and medical line from 60,000 to 144,000. Decrease um, line item group insurance from seven million nine hundred thousand to seven million six hundred thousand, and further to approve an amended fiscal 2020 budget for the town of Auburn of sixty five million seven hundred seventy four thousand eight hundred and fifty one dollars. Or act on anything relative there too. So, do, um, questions first? Okay. Kim? Eddie, what's, is the current balance in the um, salary reserve about 235000 After tonight? About 110000 109000 we brought transfers before you, uh, I think the first meeting in July to meet the contractual obligations for fire. Okay. Okay, so we've already transferred some money out of there. So there's a hundred and what now? About 110. And do we have any contracts left open? We have three left open. One, one, one was recently settled. We are preparing the memorandum of agreement now, uh, but those obligations have not been provided for yet. Okay. Do, do you know what the obligation is going to be, approximately? Because um, we're adding another 40000 right? Correct. So... It, that would so the, the 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 memorandum of agreement 
uh, is for the SOAR department. That would be coming out of the contingency, out of the SOAR enterprise account, not out of this account. The other two that are not settled, um, we don't expect to be settled in the very near future, um, but we would have to provide for um, okay. those adjustments as well. All right. Yes, sir. Is that all set, Kim? I had one other question. Legal negotiator, what have we spent to date? Uh, a little over 5,000. Okay, that's fine, thanks. Okay, thank you. Kevin, question? Where does that um, number, the final budget number you give there at the end, the 65 million, where does that come into where our agreed upon budget was? I believe it's $150,000 less than the total bottom line when we left the annual town meeting. Okay, thank you. Any other question? Okay, I have a couple of questions. I see we're increasing the precinct line, uh, precinct officers line, and and the supplies also. Is there an election we didn't plan for coming up? Or I don't see the clerk here. Um, I've been told that those costs are associated with the early voting requirements. Oh, I understand. Okay, and. Um, Relief in medical increased from 60000 to 144000 Is that the veterans' benefits? That's the veterans' benefits. Our monthly act mm -hmm. active claims right now would put that at an annual cost of about $144,000. Okay. It's about $12,000 per month. It's significantly increased over the past six months. Is, do you, is there a reason for that, or is just more individuals coming in, or is there any More specific? individuals coming in. I, th I just think it's, it's, it's word of mouth. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting some new individuals moving into town. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I see our Norfolk assessment um, for the students attending that school has declined from 111,000 to 63,000. So how many students do we have going there now? So we have two. I think back just prior to town meeting, we were getting word that there would be four. Okay. And two never materialized. Okay, great. Do I, any other questions? Do I hear a motion to recommend article two? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, so moved. Um, article three, see if town meeting will vote to amend article 15 for the McKinney-Vento receipts amount approved at the May 7th, 2019 annual town meeting from $2,500 to $2,978, which is the actual amount received in July 2019 to fund transportation costs for homeless and or unanticipated transportation for other students to their educational programs or act on anything relative thereto. Do I hear a motion to recommend? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, Article 4, also an article um, regarding the schools, to see if the town meeting will vote to amend Article 13 for the Medicaid reimbursement amount approved for the fiscal 2020 at the May 7th, 2019 annual town meeting from 185000 to 200000 to fund supplies and medical, therapeutic, and educational services for significantly disabled special needs students, as well as tu tuition and transportation um, to outside placement or then district for special needs student act on anything relative thereto. Do I hear a motion to recommend? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, Article 5. This is an article um, voting to repurpose CIP funds for the school department by amending Article 3 from the May 2015 town meeting, Packetrug Building Rehab. Authorize the remaining $4,647.30 in this account to be combined with other CIP funds for packet truck building rehab towards the installation of Univents at the school. Do I hear a motion to recommend? So moved. Second. 
Um, I have a question, um, maybe for Ed. What's a Univent? Just an event? Uh, just for heating yeah yeah okay I think it's EF, EF flow intake outtake okay all right um we have a motion on the floor all in favor aye opposed no. it so moved to see if next is town meeting um see if town meeting will vote to repurpose CIP funds for the schools also by amending article 4 of the 2017 town meeting Auburn High Building Rehab to authorize the remaining $11,360.88 in this account to be used to complete necessary stage upgrades at Auburn High. Do I hear a motion to recommend? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Article 7, to see if the town meeting will to appropriate the sum of um, blank from free cash to the town stabilization fund. So when when do we anticipate a number for that? So I've been I submitted my year end uh, paperwork to DOR late last week. I've had ongoing discussions with them through today. Uh, we're very close. I'm expecting. I, I think all of what they were looking for, I have provided. I'm hoping um, at least the field rep would be done with her review. It would go to someone higher up. Um, how long that will take, I don't know, but I, I think uh, we're probably within a week's time. Oh, okay. So, and you're talking about certifying the free cash so we know how much we um, are able to put into these line items. Correct. So until such time, uh, once we get that certification, we'll apply the 50% rule mm -hmm. as approved by the Finance Committee and the Board of Selectmen and determine what sum of monies we would be recommending uh, to appropriate for free cash. Okay, so um, do I hear a motion to um, take uh, present a recommendation at the town meeting? We have a question. Have a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Eddie, well, after the changes in Article 2 and these other articles, on your sheet that you always give the where are, where are we? What okay, do we have uh, great question. I, I, I meant to give an update one before Article 2. So leading into the annual town meeting, uh, we were taxing <laughs> about 93% of, of, of two and a half. Um, 93.66, which equates to about 2.34% out of two and a half. As a result of what you are acting on tonight and some adjustments that we made, and I can identify some of those adjustments, um, we would now be taxing at about 47.7% out of two and a half, which would be about 1.19. So we were able to drive that down from 2.34 to 1.19. Perfect. to offer some relief to the taxpayers of the community. How were we able to do that? Um, one of the driving items was health insurance. We provided an 8% increase, or projected. It came in at four and a half. So we were able to free up $300,000 there. In addition to that, our new growth came in. Primarily, one of the drivers was the Reliant at the old mm -hmm. Macy's Home Goods store, brought in significant new growth. So we, we know we estimate somewhat conservatively on new growth. Um, we estimated 450, it came in at 932. The 932 has not been certified yet, but we have every reason to believe it's going to come in very close to that. So those two pieces alone allowed us to free up the level of taxation, drive that down a little bit uh, to a level of 1.19. Mm -hmm. okay. um, all set? Yep. Thank you. So we should put Article 7 and Article 8 both to make a recommendation at the night of town meeting? I would say the night of town meeting. Because we don't have numbers. We can get you a number well before that, but mm -hmm. I don't believe you're gonna meet before that, so we can you can take action on that the night of. So do I hear a motion um, to take no position on Article 7 and to present a recommendation at town meeting? 
So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, article eight. Would you, would you reconsider putting that on hold? Uh, I think a no position would indicate that you- No, you, make, a, make a recommendation at town meeting. I thought that's what it yeah. was. Okay. The finance committee will make a recommendation. So Article 8 is about appropriating a sum of money from free cash to the town OPEB um, trust fund. Do I hear a motion to um, take no position and present a recommendation at town meeting? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. All right. Um, continuing. Article 9. Um, see if town meeting vote to appropriate the sum of $20,000 from free cash for electronic uh, payroll check advices or act on anything relative they are true there too what is that um these are electronic pay stubs right now we give our employees a stub and it's very antiquated and it takes up a lot it takes up a lot of administrative time to stuff the checks the employees or the departments are sending an individual up to town hall every thursday to pick up the checks bring it back distribute them this is a one-time cost that we would automate what we currently have and give our employees a gateway into an electronic viewing uh, system so they could access their, their pay stubs at any time uh, or they could go back in time and, and retrieve it for purposes of uh, bank loans or things of that nature. Um, question, is this something that's a union issue? So, and we also negotiated this in, in most of our, or all of our union contracts, so. Okay. Um, so they're okay. Oh, do I hear a motion to recommend this article? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Article 10, to see if town meeting will vote to rescind unused borrowing authorizations previously voted by the town. First is Auburn Middle School Project. Um, $20,185,375. The second is MSBA School Roof Projects, Auburn Middle School and Bryn Mawr, $3,024,153. Can you tell us? That's a, that's a large amount to be rescinded. Right. It's, it's a little deceiving, but yeah. when we qualify for MSBA money, we have to authorize the full amount of the project, mm -hmm. even though we know we're going to get 56, 57% oh, right. from the state. So there's a portion of that authorization equivalent to the state share that we never go out and borrow money for because we're getting it from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. They want it in place in the event somehow funding should not be available, whatever. Um, back in the day, um, municipalities had to borrow all that money up front and they were distributed that money annually through the cherry sheet over a period of 20 years. That went away years ago. Uh, they're, they're reimbursing now on a, on a as requested mm -hmm. basis. So this is very common. Uh, we do need to clean it up. So anyone looking at our statements knows that we're not going to incur any more debt. We want this debt to come off the books. Okay. Any questions? Do I hear a motion to recommend? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, so moved. Article 11, see if town meeting vote to appropriate $32,500 from Packetshaw Golf Course Enterprise retained earnings for the purchase of a tractor to be used at Packetshaw Golf Course and by the Parks Department. Um, do I hear a motion to recommend? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved uh, Article 12 to see if town meeting will vote to repurpose CIP funds by amending Article 4 of the May 2018 town meeting fire service truck as follows. Authorize the amount of $9,236 to be used for the purpose of equipping, equipping fire engine number one with miscellaneous equipment to place it in service as a frontline engine. Do I hear a motion to recommend? Just a question on that. Yes, sir. What is the status of, what is engine one being utilized for currently? Good evening. Uh, through the chair, engine one currently is a spare truck. 
And we have our two primary engines, our engine four and engine three. Engine three is stationed out at uh, station two. Engine four is at headquarters. In order, when engine, when engine three or one of the other engines goes out of service, then engine one would go into service and they'd have to swap equipment off of the current engine. Um, currently, when there's a call back and members come back, they're not able to use the engine, engine one, uh, to respond to calls while the on-duty crew is busy because there's not a, the proper equipment on the engine to make it fully functionable. Uh, with this money, we'll be able to make the engine fully functionable and uh, use it for the callbacks. Okay, thank you. Just, to, yes, just, just on that note, typically when you spec out a new engine, uh, you just received one recently. We did. When you spec out, do you spec out for all new equipment or are you... In the past, we have not spec'd out for all new equipment. We try to get as much new equipment as possible, but a lot of the equipment is very expensive. So in the past, we've just swapped equipment off of uh, trucks to other trucks. So we're trying to just catch up now. Okay, thank you. Okay, yes, Kim? So, um, Deputy, is, is engine one going to be an additional no. line vehicle? Is it? It, it will, it will how not. Many I'm sorry, what was that? Currently have two engines? We currently have three. We currently have engine one, uh, engine three, and engine four, which are engine three and four are the primary engines. Engine two is a tanker truck, and then engine one uh, was the primary engine out at uh, station two until we purchased this new engine, engine four. And then it went into the spare status, and we um, got rid of rescue two. Okay, so the, the new truck wasn't to replace engine one. It was... It was to replace another one? That yes, got correct, with. and the, everything just kind of moves down the line. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any other questions? Do, do I hear a motion to recommend Article 12? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, so moved. Um, I see Articles 13, 14, and 15 are all regarding repairs at the um, animal compound. Can we um, just talk about that before we go into the articles? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Um, uh, so articles uh, 13, 14, and 15 all relate to um, repairs um, at the animal kennel. Um, article 13 um, identifies uh, floor repairs and fencing. As you may recall, uh, over the past um, uh, couple of years, we have um, done much needed uh, renovations to, that, to the kennel. And those include um, uh, some floor applications. Uh, we have a concrete floor in the kennel. Um, we've tried um, at least two um, separate um, flooring materials um, to try to uh, keep that area sealed. Um, unfortunately, with the harsh environment, um, with the animal feces, urine, um, equipment, and just like the hard wear and tear, um, unfortunately, both of those applications have not held up. Um, so we are um, proposing a more um, durable um, application uh, for a floor that is um, made specifically for, um, for kennels. It is more expensive, but we do expect it to, um, to hold up. Um, additionally, we have fencing. Um, as you may um, know, we have um, some chain link fencing around the kennel area where there's um, an area for the um, animals to exercise. Um, some of that fencing has um, rusted over the years and um, we are preparing to replace that fencing and extend the area to um, a grassy area that is in front um, that will allow a little bit um, uh, nicer area for the animals to exercise um, space that's not being utilized currently. Um, Article 14 um, also identifies floor repairs. Um, we're not sure um, the exact cost on the floor repairs until they get into it. Um, so that identifies um, money um, from what I mentioned previously. And then Article 15 identifies miscellaneous building repairs. So um, we had uh, brand new windows put into the kennel um, and they are beautiful. They work great, um, much more efficient at keeping um, the air climate controlled. However, unfortunately, um, with the rainy spring we had, we 
notice after the windows were put in, um, there are some uh, um, overhangs over the windows that are not um, not. Uh, doing well. So we think that we have to replace some of that um, roofing material because what's happening is um, water is coming now into the kennel through the brand new windows. So we don't want to um, allow that to continue. Um, so that is um, what we're hoping to, uh, to use the money for. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Okay, thank you. Any questions? All right, so let's um, let's see. Article um, 12, see if timing vote to appropriate $16,000 from available funds from um, dog license fees for the purpose of floor repairs and fencing at the Kathleen Sabina Animal Compound. Do I hear a motion to recommend? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, Article 14 to see if time you vote to repurpose $2,196.97 as the balance from the $9,000 appropriation approved under Article 28 of the May 2018 Annual Town Meeting um, for the purpose of floor repairs at the Kathleen Sabina Animal Compound. Do I hear a motion to recommend? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Right, so moved. In Article 15, Safe Town Meeting will vote to appropriate $2,159.40 from dog fines for miscellaneous building repairs at the Kathleen Sabina Animal Compound. Do I hear a motion to recommend? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thank you, darling. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. All right, continuing. Article 16 is about plastic bag reduction, and we do not need to recommend that. I say uh, does not have a direct, direct financial impact on the town. So we can skip to Article 17, which is page 7. Do yes. we have to defer to the petition? We have to defer. Yes, I'm sorry. So okay. Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, so moved. Defer to petitioner. Article 17, excuse me, to vote to appropriate $38,000 from sewer enterprise retained earnings for engineering associated with the replacement of a sewer line under the bridge on Bancroft Street. Um, do I hear a motion to recommend? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, so moved. Article 18 is to see if town meeting will vote to appropriate $25,000 from free cash for the installation of a remote receiver to cover the junction of 12 and 20 to the Oxford line. Uh, do I hear, yes, Kim, question? Yeah, can, can somebody explain what this is? Do we have some, thank you. Uh, uh, good evening and good evening. congratulations, uh, Madam Chair, Madam Thank Vice you. Chair, members of the board. So I'll try to keep this as succinct and as clear as possible. So historically, that section of the town of Auburn, West Auburn, from 12 and 20 down to the Oxford line, we had deficit in communications because of we're unable to transmit because of the giant rock mountain that's down there, mm -hmm. which poses a uh, serious concern for the safety of the police officers as well as the public. Um, and, and many of you may be aware that there's going to be 320 apartments uh, that are going to be erected there, at least that's what the builder intends to do in the next couple of years. So timing is everything. Ken Smith from the Water District is um, erecting two brand new water tanks up on Prospect Street, which um, geographically sits very high in a very good location. So um, with the technical expertise, because some of it's beyond my capabilities of um, one of our residents, Joe Chenette, who's also a town meeting member and a uh, electrician, he's worked with me as kind of a consultant with Ken Smith, who's been a very good partner with the town. Ken, when he purchased these new water tanks that are being erected like he did on Leicester Street, purchased them with antenna mounts for municipal use and Ken bore the cost of that and we're very fortunate that um, and I mentioned this at the uh, in a meeting that we had the other day we're very fortunate with uh, with Bill Coyle and his team 
they keep our costs down because they're able to supplement a lot of the labor costs with pouring pads and things to housing the communications equipment to keep the costs at a minimum. So with Ken's help, the water tanks, with implementation of this uh, receiver or voting system that will, I'm told by the communications experts, that's going to solve the communications issue that we have down there and move us forward and be prepared when we have all these new residents moving to the town of Auburn and that location of town. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do I hear a motion to recommend Article 18? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So moved. All right, Article 19 is about uh, zoning bylaws and tiny houses. So do I hear a motion to defer to petitioner for Article 19? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, so moved. So that's Article 19. Article 20, which starts on page 10, is about um, zoning um, bylaws and the regional mall overlay district. Do I hear a um, motion to defer to petitioner for Article 20? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, so moved. So now we're down to page, um, page Article 21 is um, presented by the Planning Board, and that will vote voting to amend zoning map for the town of Auburn to resolve discrepancies. Um, do I hear a motion to defer to petitioner? So moved. Second. 22. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, that so moved. And Article 22. To see if town, and that's on page 24, to see if town meeting will vote to grant national grid temporary and permanent easements. All right, do I hear a motion to defer to petitioner? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So moved. And now Article 23, to see if the town meeting will vote to appropriate $200,000 from free cash for roadway municipal drainage improvements in compliance with the EPA National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System general permit for stormwater discharges from small municipal separate storm sewer systems. So, any questions? Yes, sir. Maybe Mr. Coyle can thank you, Mr. Coyle. Good evening. Okay. Yes. Uh, maybe you just give me a quick review before my question. I'll probably answer the. Sure. This is um, uh, during the budget season. I had presented an increase in, in pipes and catch basins on the stormwater management, and the uh, town administration at that time had recognized that. This is a, an important item and it's something that we were going to potentially try to address at fall town meeting if funding became available. Um, so this is a, a, uh, a new permit that we filed last year uh, with the EPA and uh, was approved. So the town can now legally discharge its drainage into the, uh, into the, uh, town, uh, the country's uh, storm drains um, into the rivers and oceans of the United States. So under this permit, we have certain requirements in which we have to also inspect our drainage infrastructure. And um, in our experience, we are seeing that we have a significant deterioration in the drainage system. Um, we have 34 miles of drainage pipes in town and about just shy of 2,000 drainage structures. So these funds will help us move towards uh, replacing the drainage components that are in need of repair. Uh, just so, mm. so we can expect, uh, we've discussed this, but as this, these regulations move forward, we, town, the town folks can expect additional costs relative to this, to well, it's monitoring and... Sure. The, um, as part of the permit, what we are doing, and the town had passed the uh, new position for a civil engineer to help us with this effort, uh, we're going to be required to inspect all drainage outfalls, um, dry weather and wet weather monitoring. So we physically have to go to every structure where it discharges and test any um, water that comes out of that system. Um, if we find that there's any contaminants, contaminants in that water, we 
we then have to trace it back to where it's originating from and try to mitigate that. Um, in addition to that, we also have to look at our own town properties and try to improve the runoff from our uh, facilities. So we'll be moving forward with doing rain gardens, uh, trying to decrease impervious area, uh, groundwater infiltration, um, you know, a number of different things to improve the water quality of all the runoff from, from the town. We also have to, like, with the, uh, there are impaired water bodies um, in town uh, with different impairments some may be phosphorus, some may be nitrogen. Um, we have to also look at trying to minimize those impairments and improve those situations as well. Some of the efforts will be uh, through education uh, through the residents on what, what they can and can't do uh, with um, different you know, pamphlets and flyers that will go out to try to instruct the residents, but also you know, BMPs, best management practices on what we can do to improve our system as well. So whether or not we put a uh, new drainage system um, during roadway improvement projects, deep sum catch basins potentially, um, make sure there's hoods on our basins, we're looking at our drainage outfalls, cleaning the outfalls with this sediment disposal, um, going in there, uh, getting the permits necessary to clean those out. So it's pretty extensive moving forward over the next several years and, and beyond on what we're going to have to do. And it's obviously not just the town of Auburn, and it's any, any of the communities that fall under uh, the MS4 permit, which is the Small Municipal Separate Storm Sewer Systems Permit. So thank you. Thank you. Questions? I have a question. Um, so, uh, Mr. Coyle, do you have, um, so this is extra money to um, do these improvements. Do you have money, do you have um, funding in an article or in a um, line item already to maintain this moving forward? That's something that we'll be working with the administration going forward next year. Um, I'm hoping that we'll have a, a better understanding of the um, the needs as we evaluate our system. I, I know now that just through the work we've done that probably 20 to 30 percent of the the drainage lines in town are already in need of replacement. Um, but as we move forward, we'll try to get a better handle on what the overall cost is going to be to the town. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah, Madam Chair, from the town administration's perspective, I, I just want to make clear that we're going to make this a priority mm -hmm. in the upcoming budget for next year. Uh, I think Bill uh, identified the need. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a federal mandate. It's something we cannot ignore. Uh, we were able to at least address the infrastructure side of it by this one-time infusion of free cash that will allow Bill some flexibility. Uh, going forward until next year. Um, also, I think the town engineer, once on board, can prioritize and uh, identify uh, uh, priorities within stormwater so we can direct those new dollars towards those efforts. So, uh, you know, I, I, I see that really starting to gain some momentum in the second half of the fiscal year once the engineer is on board. But clearly, I just want to get it out there now. Uh, this is something we have to address. Mm -hmm. and, and if I could add, in the first year, it's been a lot of um, regulations in defining what we were, we were going to be doing in the future. So we've had to spend a lot of time working on the stormwater regulations um, and stormwater management program. And um, so a lot of the first year has been more documentation. Mm -hmm. And I think moving forward, though, we're going to find that as time goes on, it's going to be more of cost with infrastructure improvements. Okay, I understand. Um, to, yes, sir. Uh, to the CFO and Mr. Quill. Again, so the first years are engineering based and getting things in line, but do you see moving forward additional personnel being required in future to have a stormwater crew that's that's still 34 miles of uh, drainage? You know, guys can't do that on their on the side from another, right. another duties. You know, it's something that we'll have to look at and consider going forward because uh, we can certainly replace drainage cheaper than hiring a contractor to do the work. Um, currently, we wouldn't have the staff available to be able to do that. So if, it, if we're looking at you know, 10, 20 years down the road, replacing all the drainage that's in disrepair, um, you know, that might be something that we should be looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. 
Any other questions? All right, do I hear a motion to recommend Article 23? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? All right, so moved. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So um, next item on our agenda is um, to consider the minutes from March 16th. So if you have any questions, of course, you have those there. You can read them. And I think you would just have to um, address um, Sharon about that. So um, it looks like we'll have to meet before the town meeting, Eddie, correct? OK. And do you anticipate that we'll have to meet before that? I do not. Okay. So we could schedule something, a meeting for 6.30 on October 15th before the special town meeting. Okay. Do I hear any other questions? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Cool. Right. Thank you.